All right, everyone, welcome to How to Headstand. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to stand on your head, or at least the principles to help you get there. So the goal of today is that you can be able to understand functionally what the body needs to be doing, where the muscles and bones need to be working and stacking, and then hopefully from there you'll gain enough core strength, stability, flexibility, and confidence to do a headstand in the future. For those of you that are already doing headstand, it's great to take a refresher on headstand. You wanna make sure you're putting the correct pressure on the arms and the head so that you're doing it safe. Let's get started. We are going to get started with Shirshasana A and B. So I wanna give you a quick reminder before we get started. First, I want you to make sure your space is clear. So if I were to roll forward, I would have plenty of room if I were to fall out of it. So I move my block and my water to the side. Second thing is, if you're brand new to headstand, maybe watch this video first. Maybe don't go right into trying headstands. Maybe watch and then learn a few tips and possibly pause and try something from there. I'm gonna show you lots of options really quickly. And again, this takes time. The first time I went to try a headstand didn't happen. It took plenty of time, but it was one of the first inversions I was able to get and feel really confident in. So hopefully by doing this and then some of the other core videos combined with this headstand sequence, you'll be able to find the core strength that you need for inversions, which is super important and helpful. Also confidence. So try not to be afraid when you go upside down because that will make you shake even more, but really try to feel secure in your body and what you're about to do. We're gonna get started first with our palms flat. All right, so hands flat on the earth and they're going to be as wide as your mat. Now some people like to go more narrow, but I think going wider is more helpful. From here, I'm gonna place my head in front of my fingertips, not in between them. So it's important that your head is in front of your hands. All right, I also am gonna make sure I place the crown of my head on the earth in front of my fingertips and not my forehead. From there, I'm gonna shift my head down and then my gaze is back at my toes. I'm gonna to inhale, raise my butt to the sky using the balls of my feet. Now, if you have tight hamstrings, you might be in this little shape. Otherwise, press through the feet. From here, you're gonna very slowly walk your toes in even further if available. I wanna engage my triceps. So instead of letting my hands pop up, my elbows come out, I wanna really press through my palms and engage my arms, firing these muscles in the back. From here, maybe you raise one leg, maybe you raise the other leg. And maybe that's it for today and you just feel the blood flow in a different direction, fresh oxygen, new perspective. Maybe you bring one knee to your tricep and then the other. And then you hold tripod headstand, so a very safe headstand. Or maybe you start to move your knees into your stomach, which we call an egg shape. And then maybe they pop right back. So second level, knees in, pop out. From there, if the knees are confident, you'll slowly pull them into the chest and then align the hips over the head. So now my, my tailbone is stacked with my shoulders. From here, I prefer to take my knees up and then from my knees, I can take my feet so I feel safe and secure. Once you're in this place, you can simply just kind of plop back down to fall. Obviously rolling over doesn't feel awesome, but it's okay. Or maybe you slowly bring your knees in, tap your triceps, bring them up to the sky. And that will engage your core a lot. Tap and then lift. To come down, you can just allow yourself to kind of fall one foot and then the other. Or you can slowly pike all the way back down. Release your knees. And then we always rest in seated head above the heart or in child's pose. Take a couple breaths here. Breathe in and breathe out. Now obviously that's a lot of tension on your head. So if that hurt your head, you can always pad your mat for the future or use a firm towel. I wouldn't use a pillow or a blanket because you want to make sure your surface is hard so that it's safe for your neck. If you experience neck pain, it's either because you're new to it or because this might not be safe for your body. So remember those couple of things as you keep practicing. Second variation, fingers are interlaced for this one. So 
We're gonna grab opposite triceps. Press down into the mat. So watch my shoulders. I'm gonna push out of my body. So instead of staying here in this hunch position, I'm gonna exhale, press up. And what that's gonna allow me to do is really gain strength from my shoulders and my lats. Interlace the fingers. I'm gonna receive the back of my head in my hands. I have a ladybug just flew on me. I think that's good luck, I guess, for our headstands. And then from there, I'm gonna take the top of my head down. Now again, watch, I'm gonna push out of my forearms so you'll notice my spine rise. So I'm not hunching into my shoulders. Press up. Now my forearms are pressing, the back of my head is in my hands, the top of my head is pressing. So not all the weight is in your head in this pose. From here you can raise a leg up, raise a leg up. This egg shape is a lot harder because you can't bring your knees to your triceps first. So one knee in and then your other and there's your egg. Again, you wanna bring your hips forward so they stack with your head. Strong core, from there, press straight up, squeeze those legs tight together and press into the sky. Now, once you're here and you feel confident, that's where you can start to create different shapes with your legs. You can split your legs, make sure you do both, and then make sure you move slow, because a lot of times when you switch sides, your body will tend to kind of shift left and right and we wanna keep our neck in neutral. Maybe you kind of rotate, find a twist, take your legs wide, find a twist again. Inhale, return to center with your legs, super strong core. Maybe you roll your knees down into your belly, exhale back to the sky. Pike all the way down if possible, otherwise you might just fall, so a quick release would be left, right to the ground, all right, or I'm just gonna show you real quick, you can pike up. So balls of your feet, start to lift, 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 so much core strength all the way up, super strong, my front body and my back body are firing. Exhale, hips come forward as I pike, pike, hover, and release. Again, relax the head, and then gently shift into your child's pose and pause here. Take a big breath in and a big breath out. If you have some tension in your neck, maybe take rabbit pose. So hold your heels, top of the head down, and then stretch your upper back out by pushing it forward. Exhale, release. Slowly sit up. You might feel a little lightheaded or just different just because maybe you're not used to headstand. But remember, this takes time, this takes effort, and this takes consistent practice. So headstand doesn't happen right away, so allow yourself time to practice and enjoy going upside down. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below, and good luck with your headstands.